Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built them themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Mervin. We are back at the doghouse. It's springtime. It finally showed up. Can you believe it? And I got the grandkids out here. The dogs are out here. We're having a great time. The layout's up and running. Things are really good. Today, we're going to look at, you know, figures. I Tanks, figures, cars. It's kind of what I do and I don't know why. But because I do so many other things. But this one's uh, one that intrigues me. So a few years ago, I picked this up, and it's the from the NAM series. It's the DML Dragon, whatever you want to call it, um, and it just says Viet Cong. So this is going to go good with my M60 and some of the other Vietnam stuff I've got. And look at it; it's shrink wrapped. Isn't that awesome? So we are going to do what Mad Dog Merv likes to do best, and that is get it out of the get it out of the shrink wrap. Exactly. I got my little Emily visiting right now. Okay, so we're going to take this out and we're going to open it up. It looks like we have um, a lady wearing black pajamas. That's awesome. And it looks like we got a couple other guys wearing the black pajamas too. So this is awesome. Here's the here's the back, and you can see the building instructions here. There's even a bicycle. A 135th scale bicycle that's that's gonna be you know a real win for this I like it let's take a look at them let's take a look at it and see so the inner bag is always a pain for me all right that's it one sprue one one sprue. Um, I don't see a lot of flash, mold lines, any of that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, there is some mold lines on it, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be just fine. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Pretty easy to uh, to assemble. It looks like you got arms, legs, torso, head, and then the accoutrements that they've got, like that. And then there's this little sprue here that has the bicycle. And ooh, has an RPG and an AK-47. Ooh, very nice. Some nice little. The weaponry looks molded really good, actually. And then here's the bike the chain. That ought to be fun. The seat, the pedals. I mean, all the components. That's wow. That's pretty neat. Handlebars are a little thin, so gotta be careful with those. Uh, it's got saddlebags for it, so. This is going to be fun. Uh, I'll be able to use this on it. Fun. This will be fun for your grandpa to build. I'm going to have a good time building this when I get to it. Um, maybe I'll have Emily help. Because, yeah, she's a lot of fun. Yeah, Emmy can help grandpa do it. That'd be a lot of fun. Involve the grandkids in you know, a project like this. Or involve your kids in a project like this. Um, really kind of like a weekend project for me. So uh, looking at them, though great figures well molded uh good poses and this one dude here he's let's close that up one dude here he's crouched down um yeah this is this is going to be a, a good build for me so uh this was just kind of a little quick thing this week because well i've been wanting to do this for a while and i know it's going to be a, a quick and easy build and i definitely would recommend this kit if you're doing something vietnamish uh, even if you just need a nice uh, uh, bicycle, there you go. So, all right, folks, thanks for joining us, and we'll uh, see you next week.